Okay, testing speakers. Let's see, one, two, one, two. Okay, that's it. It's okay. Okay, hello guys. Good night. Good night to everyone. And well, I tried to do it a little bit quickly now. Today the the change from the first class to the to the second one. And well, we're going to see. I don't know what's happening with I Idalia, Elena Marisol, and the Ca Carlos David, Catherine Ma Mari Maria. Mari what? Marielos. <laughs> Marielos Melendez. I don't know what is happening with your camera. Uh, guys, please try to turn it on. Elena. Eh, I'm going. Okay. Oh. Please. Okay, let's see. Elena, Marisol, do you hear me? Yes, teacher. I'm so sorry. Uh, Boris, what is happening with your camera? Why don't you have uh, your camera on? I don't know. Um... I'm going to try in again. Okay, Idale Margarita, please try to turn on your camera. Carlos David, hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Okay, thank you for turning on your camera. Catherine Marielos, you still with the Saul, your Silvia Esther. Uh, Catherine Marielos and Elena Marisol, please try to. Uh, okay, try to turn on your camera, guys. I know you were fixing your hairs or everything, but <laughs> now we have we need to have our camera on. Okay, guys, let's wait, guys. I see somebody. Okay, wait, guys. Sorry, what? Okay, guys, what's my supervisor? Okay, um, Saul Enrique eh, Garcia, eh, well. Guy, please. Try to, uh, what what is going on with your camera? Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, wait a moment, please. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Always let me know if you have some issues, some inconvenience, some delayed. Okay, guys. Now we're going to see and share what we have for today. Let me see. Okay, this one. Okay, no. Okay, let's move right here. Let's see. Guys, did you remember that yesterday we were working in in this chart, right? Remember that we were just mentioning YouTube because we are running out of time. We just mentioned like uh, one of each one, but in this case we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. In, it is two for each possible event. Okay, now what we're gonna do? Complete the two that really are going to be according with each possible event. Buy a large dogs and has in this case have like a two consequence. Fall in love also have two consequence. Go on a diet. Uh, two inherit inherit a lot of money. Number two, move to a foreign country. Number mm -hmm. two, quick smoking. And number two. Now we are going to try to complete because yesterday just we select just one due to the time that we were running out of time yesterday. Okay, 
we said about the possible events and the consequences. And what about by a large dog? Which one we select yesterday? Uh, which one we select, guys, yesterday? Have to take it out for walks, right? Oh, sorry, the the dates. Hello, guys. Right, is this is the answer? Yeah, have, have to, to take, take it take out, it for, out walk. for walk. Okay, but we, in this case, we need another one. Which which one else we might we might choose? Mm -hmm. Feel uh -huh. safer in your home, for example, I don't know. Oh, feel safer in your home. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's move to fall in love. Fall in love, guys. What might be about fall in love? Mm -hmm. Oh, Catherine. Feel Feel lows, creo que pronuncia. Feel, well, well, well. Sometimes. Feel, 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 feel that word. Uh, four. Number four. Oh, feel jealous. Jealous. Feel jealous sometimes. sometimes. Ah. <laughs> Everything that is related with, with love, I don't know what always has to take into account the the jealous about being jealous. Yeah, jealous can be handled in different ways in the one that you prefer. Okay, but uh, being extremely jealous, uh, that doesn't bring you anything good. Just only going to bring you bad things, problems, you're always going to have a bad mood. You're always going to have discussion. That's why I consider that, that, that being extremely jealous, that's, um, that's, that's not is going to be good for our relationship. Or in this case, like in falling in love. Well, okay. It's working. Okay, we say I feel jealous sometimes. What else can we select? Or what else can we choose? Mm -hmm. Have to yeah, lose safer. Have to give up your favorite snack. No, 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 no. Have to give up your favorite snack. No, that means that might be go with. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I might agree. be. I I think might be this one. Feel better about no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. This one might be feel better about yourself. When you are falling in love, you might feel sometimes uh, feel extremely better because love makes you look everything like the most wonderful thing. Yeah. Uh, well, let's move to go on a diet. Mm -hmm. Feel more energetic. Feel more energetic, okay. What about this one? Have to give up your favorite snack. Yeah, this might apply with go on diet. This one might apply, guys. How to give up your favorite snack? Of course. That's the consequence of being on a diet. You have to quick to the pupusa. You have to quick to hamburgers. You have to quick to to what else? To any kind of fast food. You can eat a lot of taquitos. Just simple salads and green drinks. <laughs> okay, what about inherit a lot of money? Mm -hmm. What about inherit a lot of money? Maybe get requests for loans, loans. from friends. Okay, maybe get requests for loans from friends. No, don't don't lend money to your friend. That money never is going to come back to you. 
I tell you because yeah. I have uh -huh. experience. Okay. I, I have experience that. <laughs> about be, you. Be, be able to be buy, able to buy expensive clothes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. What what else? Expensive clothes. Be able to buy expensive clothes. Oh. Yeah. That is another one that might help you with, with this one, but in any a lot of money. Okay, what about move to a foreign country? What about move? Low stoch with old friends. Low stoch with old friends, yeah. yeah. Because you won't see them maybe in a few years, in a few months. We don't, you don't know. Oh. What, Okay, what oh, else? How to learn a new language? How to learn a new language, yeah. How to parler français. Eh, you have to speak English. <laughs> eh, you, you, you must learn a new language in this case. Well, let uh, me see. Um, let me... Feel shaver in your home? No. Well, where are we now? Oh yeah. no. No, no, this one we already we already yeah. used. Yeah. yeah, this one was already used. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, don't worry with, with this one because we already use it with, with the with the talk. Mm -hmm. What about quick smoking? Feel more energetic. Feel more energetic. Okay. And another one? Feel better about yourself. Feel better? No, this one we use with falling off. Oh, okay. I think maybe this one gain weight, gain weight, because one of the consequences that brings the weaking to to smoke and and maybe that one you you gain weight, you gain weight because instead of being smoking the whole day. You change it for another thing. You change it for food, and you spend a lot of time on this way, eating and eating and eating. That's everything that you you want to do during the whole day. But we can spend the whole day eating because we have to work. <laughs> okay, guys, and let's see. And I think everything is clear about the possible events, and even with the consequences. Right? One thing is the events, and another one is the consequences. Everything has a consequence, even good thing and bad things. Everything has consequences. But in some cases, the the good consequences are better than the than the, than the bad one. Okay, let's yeah, let's now we're going to move to and see our next slide. Oh yeah, yeah, it's this one. Okay, consider the consequences. Give your opinion about some issues. Okay, choose three positive events. In this guy, this one is the exercise. The exercise 10. The next student and new consequences suggest at least five consequences. Now here we have one, two, three, four, and five. We have the first one. If you buy a large dog, you have to take it out for walks every day. If you take a, if you take it out for walks every day, you might have an accident. Yeah, you might have an accident. If you have an accident, you might have to go to the hospital. If you go to the hospital, you won't be able to take care of your dog if you aren't able to take care of your dog, you'll probably have to sell it. No, how how does that that will be possible? I I never will sell my dog. And here he said that he's going to sell his dog. Okay, what are the most interesting consequences for each event? Okay, guys, we see some some example. We have five examples that we have here according to unexpected consequences. Now we're going to practice this file, the one that we have here. And after that, we're going to create a one event and followed by a consequence. Okay. I don't know who wants to help me to repeat the, 
Uh, number one, who's going to help me with number two, number three, number four, and number five. I don't know who wants to help in this case. Okay, or I choose you. Lourdes Nunez. Hello, Lourdes. Hello. Hello, teacher. Ah, okay. Lourdes, you're going to help me with the number one, okay? Keep in your mind. You're going to be a number one. If you buy a large dog, uh, Lourdes, uh, uh, wait, wait, I'm going to tell you when we are going to start. Uh, now, I, 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 I just, uh, don't worry, now I'm just assigning uh, which exercise, which, which you are going to help me. And uh, let's see, Maria Magdalena, hello, Maria. Hello, teacher. You're going to help me with the number two. Okay. Okay, Olga Lisset, how are you, Olga? How are you? Okay, uh, Olga. Do you want to help me with this, with the number three? Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you, Olga. Claudia Margarita Constante, hello, Claudia. Hello, oh, and that's uh, You're going to help me with this one, with the number four, right? Okay, thank you, Claudia. And let's see, let's, we're going to move here. Ta -na -na -na. And Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela. You're going to help me Hello. with this. Good with the number five. Good evening. You're going to help me with the number five. Okay? Okay. 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 And let's see. Okay. Well, we're going to start with the number one. After the number one finish, the number two follows. And so, okay. Number one, please start. Oh. So, you may... No, the oh. number one. No, Olga, Olga, you are not the number one. You're, you're not the number mm -hmm. one. It's Lourdes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, okay. stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you buy a large dog, you'll have to take in out of for work oh. every day. Mm -hmm. Who was the number two? If you take it off for work every day, you you might have an accident. Okay. Who was number three? I think was was you. If, you, if you have an accident, you may have to go to the hospital. Okay. Please uh, listen carefully, Olga. If you have an accident. If you have. If and... you have. An accident. Mm -hmm. You might have. You might have. To go. To go. To the hospital. To the hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay. You did well, Olga. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let's move to the number four. If you go to the hospital, you won't be able to take care of your dog. Okay. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you. What about the number five? Where where were you? Where were if, you? Okay. If you aren't able to take care of your dog, you will probably have to say to say it. To, to sell, sell it. it. To sell to it. To sell it. To sell it. Uh, yeah, it's like uh in a quicker way to sell it. To sell it. Mm -hmm, to sell it. Because you say if you pronounce it like in a very slow way, it's going to be to sell it. And if you do it faster, to sell it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, we're, now we're going to see five more. We're going to select five more. And Dalila Cristina, Dalila Cristina Gomez, you go, you're going to help me with the number one, okay? okay. I let you know when you're going to start. Uh, Crisia Morena, hello, Crisia. Hello, Crisia. You're going to help me with the number two. You see here. Okay, thank you. And let's see. Let's see who else. Oh, Diana. Hello, Diana. Hi, teacher. Uh, hi, Diana. Would you like to help me with this one? Okay. See, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. 
Okay, Silvia, are you falling asleep? Or or I think you're like you were moving your your head. Uh, I, <laughs> no, you, I'm you don't. Sorry. You, no, you no, don't. Uh, I'm practicing the the the, the sequence. Oh, you you well, you are you are practicing in, in, inside of you. La, yeah, la, la, la. Exactly. <laughs> ah, exactly. okay, okay, okay. No, I understand you because I think uh, everybody will feel like a little bit tired with the uh, to this time because we were working. I think during the whole day. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, in, well, in your cases, I don't know how many hours do you work a day, but in my case, I just only work like uh to five to six hours and I make two okay. two more hours working at night. That's the only, and I also work on Saturday, the, the, the whole day. Uh, but I really understand you guys. Okay, Sylvia, you're going to be the number, what we said? Number, D? no D because, uh, Diana was C, you're going to be D. I'm here, sorry. <laughs> no, Diana, you were you were C, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Sylvia is D. Sylvia okay. D. Yeah. Okay, let's see who else. Let's see. Rina Rina Margarita. Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, Rina, you're going to be A. Okay. This one. This one, the last one. Okay. Okay, okay, guys, please, we are going to start. Let's start with the number one. After the number mm -hmm. one finish, okay. continue number two, and so on. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Who is number one? Is you, boy, who alert that you have to take is out for a while every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dalila. If you buy a large dog, you have to take it out for walks every day. Okay, thank you, Dalila. Uh, who's going to be the second one? If you if you take it out for walks every day, you might have an accident. You might have an accident. Okay, thank you, Christian. Thank you. Who is number three? Me. <laughs> me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Okay. If you have an accident, you may have to go to the hospital. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we have an accident, we used to go to the hospital. <laughs> okay. Well, the letter D. Me. If you okay. go to the hospital, you won't be able to take care of your dog. Of your dog. You won't. Okay. Thank you, Sylvia. And the last one, who who have the last one? If you aren't able to take care of your dog, mm -hmm. you'll probably have to sell it. You'll probably have to sell it. Okay, That's thank good. you. We probably have to sell the dog. No, we won't sell the dog. I will bring someone to take care of my dog. <laughs> That's what I used to do on Christmas. I called to somebody who came to my house and and give food and feed 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 my dogs and take them uh, for going around. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, I think everything is clear about uh, unexpected consequence about the some facts and their consequences and which. Which one else we might like uh, create, starting from zero? Uh, beside this one, which one else we, we can create? Imagine one in, in, in your mind. Imagine one. Uh, and I will I, and I will tell you if it is good or it is so-so or it is completely wrong. <laughs> okay, Sylvia, you raise have, your hand. Okay. Yes, uh, I have a proposal. Uh, if you fall in love, you gain weight. If you oh. gain weight, your boyfriend break with you. Okay. If your boyfriend break with you, you go to the gym more frequently. Ah, uh, uh, you will go to the gym frequently. Okay, that 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 was interesting. Yeah, I feel like a like a like a when you have a broke up with with your 
or couple, I think that is like a, a good motivation for, for being at the gym doing exercise. <laughs> yeah. <Well>, cycles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Diana, do you have a do you have one example for us? Yes. For mm -hmm. example, let me see. Mm -hmm. If you don't study for the ex, ex, for the how do you say exam? Exam? Uh, exam meter test. For the meter, mm -hmm. you will probably reprove. If you or oh, how do you say reprobar? Uh reprove something like that. Test, for example. Or you won't pass the test or you quick. Or, or you fail, or, or you might fail. Fail. Uh, okay. There's a lot. There's a lot of synonyms. <laughs> yeah, okay. there's a lot of synonyms. Let me see. If you don't study for the test, mm -hmm. you you'll you'll don't pass the test. If you don't pass the test, uh, you'll have to pay for a compliment. For example, <laughs> in my university, you pay for yeah. a compliment. <laughs> yeah, that is that is like uh the recovery test, right? The one you you have to pay when you yeah. when you fail in your midterm. Yeah, I I remember that because never in my life I went to uh, uh like uh, to an extraordinary test. No, no, no. I always pass the 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 it's it's subject that I was uh, taking at the university in the first course because. I, I think there are two, no, three courses. In the third case, if you don't pass it, you lost your career, right? Yes, you need to change uh, the career. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something very, very hard for, for, for some people in those yes. cases. Well, I don't know who else, uh, who might help you. Let's see who else. Uh, let's see. The one who has me, Claudia Margarita. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Uh, Claudia, you were paying attention about what we were uh, discussing with your classmate, right? Uh, yes. Did you did you have uh, one example of the one we were talking about, or or do you want some? Do you want to share something with us? Um, if mm -hmm. you if you alimentarse from if you don't feed, 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 if you feed better, you feel you, better, you feel better. You will feel better. Uh -huh. Or it might be, if you have uh good healthy habits you will be feel better that might be another case yeah if you see there it doesn't matter if it is yours no because it is understandable we and we also we can make it like a little bit long but it but it doesn't necessarily has to be in that way you can make it like a, in short way but you can make it also longer don't worry about that because the idea uh, every, uh, the idea here is understandable. We got the idea what you were trying to say. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Uh, Gabriela, Gabriela Noemi Orellana. Hello, Gabriela. Hello. Hello. Se me trabó el teléfono. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw you. I saw you doing this, this. <laughs> okay, uh, Gabriela, you were paying attention about the exercise in which were we were working, right? The exercise that we were yes. working. With. Okay. Do you have any example uh, that you want to share with with us? Don't don't worry if you if you get a mistake. You can use even some the same structure that we have here. And the only thing that you might change might be like a DNA or the other complement. It is all up to you. 
For example, uh -huh. if you don't live, if you I don't call live, the, I call the police. Okay, if you uh -huh. don't live, I will call. Don't live. I will I call, call the police. The police. I don't know. Yeah, that that that, mean, that might be the case. If you don't, if you don't go from my house. I call the police to take you out from my house. In that way, it can be a little bit longer, but it is understandable idea. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Elena. And let's see who else. Uh, Maria Magdalena. Hello, teacher. Hello, Maria. Uh, Maria, do you have an example related to? The consequences that we were talking about. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, if you won the lottery, you uh -huh. will buy a house. Oh, oh, here, guy. If you won the lottery, you probably buy a house next year, or you buy a house. You will buy a house. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it might be in the in in the two ways. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let's see, Crisia. Hello, how are you, Crisia? Hi, teacher. Fine. Crisia, uh, uh, you were paying attention about the exercise in, that we were talking and sharing with your other classmate, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. I don't know if you would like to share us an example related to these ones. Um... Yes, if if you are using your cell phone when you are cooking, mm -hmm. uh, the food will burn. The food probably will get burned. Get burned. Uh, yeah. Get burned or get a stick to the pan or get... I don't, I don't know, or will taste bad. Uh, we can say in many different ways. Oh, I think you I think you are using that that example because that happened once to you, right? Oh yes. In fact I can <laughs> I can cook really. <laughs> that, that, yeah, don't worry about that. Those mistakes happen all the time. You put something uh, at the kitchen and you forget that you put it right there <laughs> and you realize and, that. Oh? And I don't like and I don't like uh, chicken and I don't like a lot of food, so Oh. I don't, I don't, I don't like cooking. Hey, you, you have to share me your secret to, to do the thing that you do. Yeah, like uh, just eat a, a, a few things. <laughs> I walk every day to my work. Oh, I don't, I don't walk because my work is like a very far away. <laughs> oh, my car is uh, 30 minutes and I walk every day. Oh, that's good, that's good. Okay, Hi. thank you, thank you, Crisia. Uh, Carlos David Lopez. <laughs> yes, teacher. Carlos, you were paying attention about the exercise that you were sharing with your classmate, right? Yes. Okay, Carlos, uh, you would like to help us with one of them? Okay. Um. Uh... Uh, if you eat dinner late, you may not be able to sleep early. Oh, if you eat, uh, if you dinner late, you yes. probably won't yes. sleep at night. Yeah, that, that. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. Teacher. Okay, thank you. Olga, where is Olga? Olga said, hello, Olga. Hello. Hello, Olga. You were paying attention to the whole example that your classmate was sharing with us. I don't know if you have one example or you can use any one of, of the one that we have here and you just can only change the knob or the other complement right here. Do you want to share one example with your class? Don't worry if you make mistake, Claudia. We, we are here to, to help you. We're going to correct you in, in order to structure a little bit well the, the sentence. Don't worry about that, Olga. 
try to do your best. Creo que no lo entendí si sí, es que tengo que ordenar la oración o no sé. Eh. Como es una secuencia de segunda oración. Ya, yeah, un expected consecuencia. Yes, you. Always we're going to start with if. If, if you. you okay. The hospital. To well, the you, hospital. you can change hospital and you can use a school. Mm -hmm. You can change the, the name hospital and we can use uh, a school. If you go to the school, you will probably pass the year. I don't know if you are getting the, the, the idea of that. Always the, those unexpected consequences start with if are divided by the comma and also continue with, with the will structure. Will, because will is expressing of a probably future, what will happen in a future or what we probably do in a future, right? No, no le logro entender. <laughs> Que si yo voy a ir a la escuela en el futuro. Eh, eh, bueno, eh, no, así rápido. Eh, no, no se me ha permitido esto. Pero para que usted me entienda lo voy a hacer. La estructura if es el condicional que nos dice a nosotros qué es lo que probablemente está pasando. A consecuencia de ese acto viene, o sea, a partir de ese acto, de ese acto viene su consecuencia. That's why we use if. The famous Spanish, si hubiese hecho, si hubiese dicho, that's why we use if. It is divided, the sentence by a coma, and we use will. Usamos la estructura del will para hablar en futuro. I don't know if you got the idea. But, no, no but, lo puedo estructurar. Ok, uh, ok. ¿Cómo okay. No, don't, don't worry, Olga. I think I'm going to look for a good video and some example, and I'm going to share with you when I have time, maybe tomorrow or during the weekend. Because I this is a very interesting part and a very interesting exercise in which we can work. Don't, don't worry about that, because we are learning. We are learning. Don't worry about Olga, ok? No se me preocupe. <laughs> okay, guys. Next, now we're going to move to our next slide and see what we have. Oh, let me check something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Oh, are you in law? We have an article right here. Are you in law? What is the difference between having a crush <laughs> on someone and falling in love? Guys, what is a crush? What is your crush? The impossible love. The impossible love. That is that is that is the that is the the famous crush. Yes, in my case is no sangu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that the most of us or or maybe everybody ha have had like a, a crush. In my case, I well, I had a crush in, in, in college. It was a pretty nice and wonderful girl. But the thing that happened was that I changed from college. And after that, I never back uh, see her. I don't know what happened with her, but even nowadays, I I still thinking what happened with her because she was a very nice, a very nice girl. We used to get along. We used to get along. She was very nice and friendly. And th th those are like uh, the love, the love that you have from college. <laughs> those 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 eggs where everything was uh, from different colors and easy no 
the now the growth of life is is very hard. <laughs> Everything has changed completely. Okay, and falling in love. The difference, guys, between having a crush and someone falling in love. What what might be the difference? Uh, Silvia, what what do, what do you think might be the difference between having a crush and falling in love? What do you think might be the, the difference between the two of? I I think that having a crush is because you you don't have him in this case or in my case or in uh, falling in love is because it's it's possible have a have have the the law with him or the her. Mm -hmm. The that's the falling in love. Yes, uh, the the one in this case having crush because if you don't have or not yet or oh. it's impossible. Oh to... yeah, you you said that the crush is the one the, the with it is the one with you never have contact or touch with with it right exactly because okay. and, you and, don't and have you never have talked with that person you never have shared something with that person you never have dating with that person because you only watch and observe far away but you never have talked to to that specific person right that might be the exact okay. meaning for, for the for, for the crush in the in the case of falling in love, in the case of falling in love, I think it is like a, when you have like, like your couple, sure. your... Yes, uh, or more, uh, how do you say, cerca? Uh, close one. Uh, you, you, you refer to, to that person that is, is really next to you, right? Uh, that, is, that is close to you. Uh, that is close to you, o sea, más cercano hacia ti, close to you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That is the, with the one that you are falling to love, in love, it is the one that is close to you. Uh, you always dating with that person. You always chat with that person. Yeah. With the person that you're falling in love, you are getting in touch a little bit more. Está en contacto yeah. durante más tiempo. And your crush, with your crush, you, you don't. No. No, no. You just do it far Never. away. Exactly. Never, de de ever. It's <laughs> not obsession. Oh, I yeah. Think. Yeah, it might be, it might be that, that, that case. I just only have, uh, I'm not sure about if, if I have a, a crush that, because I think that that you find out if you have a crush if somebody else tells you, but if nobody tells you, how you will know that you have a crush? Yeah, that 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 is um, that is like um that is like a the 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 a way in which we can understand this. Okay, now we have an article and it's saying this way: You think you'll fall. You're falling in love. You're really attracted to a certain person, but this happened before. And it was just a crush. How can you tell if it's real this time? Here's what our reader said. If you're in love, you'll find yourself talking to or telephone, telephoning the person for no reason. And you said, oh, sorry. My cell phone dial without I without notice <laughs> you might pretend there's a reason but often there's not you'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation when i was in mexico a friend begins you interrupt with my boyfriend made a great mexican dinner last week you might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid yeah, that might be true. When a woman asks me to sell her all about food, football, I know she's falling in love, said a TV sport announcer. <laughs> okay, so you, 
falling in love, but falling in love is one thing and staying in love is another. Oh, see, falling in love is one thing. Falling in love is one thing. And staying in love is another. What does it mean? They are not the same. They are different. It's another. How can you tell as a time pass that you're still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not always call him or her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You'll find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But not, but now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Oh, staying in love means that you're always going to be enough of your of your couple. Yeah. Like if but in this case falling in love might be like a you feel attracted by another different person, another different uh, uh, like um, maybe you feel attracted by a co-worker or something like that. Thing that, that might happen in, in this world. Okay, can someone share me about what you can or what you could understand about this alico, the alico that I read to you? Who can share me this opinion? Mm -hmm. uh, Claudia Margarita, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Claudia, you were paying attention to the article that I was reading to you, right? Yes. Okay, Claudia, what did you understand about this article? Uh, I understand uh, staying in love is better because you have a person. Mm -hmm. Um every day uh, mm -hmm. uh, you, you don't worry uh, about this uh, about or uh, you don't uh, muy pendiente uh, del, about the cell phone Ah, you, you you are not like uh, paying attention the whole time on your on your cell phone. Yes, yeah. and you can do other activities with that person. And without without person and with the person. Oh yeah, with the person. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing to us with your idea or what you understand about this interesting article. I think this article most apply like uh, on February when there is the month of the the month of the love, right? Where where everybody is giving and receiving presents with some figure Valentine of art, the Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's Day I, I consider it like a more like a business or uh, all around the Marketing. world. Oh, marketing. <laughs> yeah, it is marketing. Yeah, because I consider if you want to share something with the one you love or with your closest one, I think you can do it any day of the year. There's not a specific day. You can do it whatever day you want. That day, everything is expensive. Everything is full. Uh, and it is hard to go or maybe uh, to go to even to the smallest place that you have never had gone before in that day is completely full. That, because that is 
every, that is always focus on marketing. That is the key from all of day. Like the one that we have, uh, uh, the the coming, the coming Zoom season. That is Christmas. Christmas, yeah, we celebrate a lot of different things. Uh, I think everybody is celebrating in different way, but it, but some people just focus on presents. Uh, and present is not everything about Christmas. Christmas is about uh, you can give a good advice to the person that you really appreciate. That might be a good present for, for that person. It is not necessarily that you have to give a, a, a physical present. Uh, wrap it in a box with, with nice figures, with a short letter that you write for him or for her. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, sharing something good with the person or with the one that you love might be a good and excellent present for 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 those days. It not must be necessary having money for for give a good present to the one that you love. And um, let's see, guys. Let's going to move. We have some questions right here. Now we're going to see the questions. Okay, guys. What happened when you fall in love? Compare to, compare to when you stay in love. Check the correct boxes. Falling in love and staying in love. We have the number one. You call the other person for no reason. What is that? Falling in love or staying in love? Falling in love. Falling in love. Falling in love. That might be falling in love. That is the famous. Oops. Se me marcó sin querer. <laughs> that is the famous in Spanish. I think that the most of you have happened that that case that your boyfriend or your girlfriend tells you, "Oh, sorry, I I I didn't have purpose. Uh, I didn't realize that I did that." <laughs> that's the typical uh, that's the typical guy that is falling in in love of of that person. Okay, what about the number two? Can you be honest about yourself? Hey, staying in love. Staying in love. Staying in love. Staying in, in love. Okay. What about the number three? You feel you can completely trust the other person. Falling in love. Falling in love. Falling in love. Oh, you are my everything. You are my all. You are my heart. You are my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that is two uh option falling in love and staying in love in this case. I think yeah, it's yeah. my the, opinion. Yeah, it might it might be the, the two of them, right? If if you see like a, in a wider way, might be the, the, the two of them. You 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 got right on, on, on this in this part. Okay, what about the number four? You suddenly have new interests. It is falling in love or staying in love? Uh, falling in love. Falling in love. Falling in love. Who else said falling in love? Okay. Yeah. Lourdes, Gabriela, you said <laughs> falling in love, right? Sometimes if, if you need any answer. Mm -hmm. If I have it, I can share with but call. Yeah. Who's speaking? Mi esposo está hablando. Oh. <laughs> bueno, está en clases. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Everybody is in, is is in classes, I think. <laughs> Yeah, that is that is great that, that, that the couple being in classes, one in, in one machine and another one in the another machine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's interesting. And I think everybody think the same. Falling in love. That the uh, that might be the, the right answer for the number four. Yeah, you suddenly have new interests. What what about the number five? You talk about the other person at every opportunity. Falling, Falling in, love in love or staying in love? In love. Falling, Falling in love. love. Staying in love. Staying in love. Uh -huh. Falling in love. It's hard to understand. 
Okay, for, falling in love and stay in love. In love. Yeah, because, falling in because, love. Uh, because when you are, in this case, when you are falling in love, you always talk about the other person. Like the like the word says, in every opportunity. In every opportunity that you have, it is not necessary that you can um, you can receive a, a message from that person. You can you can maybe be with your friend and you instantly say to your friend, Oh, did you remember that I was talking about that wonderful, beautiful guy that I saw in the mall? Yeah. What happened with him? Mm. Oh, he's very tall. He has a blue eye. He's, uh, he, he, her hair is like, a, or his hair is like a rainbow. <laughs> mm. That's what you do when you have a, 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 an opportunity to refer to talk about the, the another person. I think the in this case, love makes uh, everybody like like uh, doing things that we never have done before. Yeah, in my case, uh, was like a uh, do the ditches. I don't like do the ditches, but I have to do the ditches, <laughs> and that was something that I never had done before. That what happened in the case with with love. Love is very weird in the majority of the cases. Well, I think we are running out of time, but we need to see what we have here. Daddy called this several signs. Oh, no, no. We are going to, to stop here. Okay, guys, we see, we observe, we understand the difference between falling in love and staying in love according with the article that we were reading. And also we were mentioning about the difference between having a crush uh, on someone and falling in love. Mm -hmm. Guys, do you think having a crush is it is applied with that with that term that, that the people use in in, in Spanish mm -hmm. like la queso? What is that? What is that in Spanish? I never have heard uh, I never have heard about that. La queso porta? <laughs> that is in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> la queso, la queso oh, that, that's what it means in Spanish, la queso. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Im, im, imagine how, uh, how, how I am, I, I, because I'm not very <laughs> familiar with, with those terms, but now I, I, I learned something new for, from you. <laughs> okay. Um, well, was it was this was an interesting article about the the love and everything referred to it, the difference of being in love and the the difference of falling in love, the difference between the crush and the difference when you really are falling in love. Well, there's no question, there's no more doubt about this, and I think we are going to stop right here. Let me see. Guys, just we are only 17. There's something that is, is worrying me a lot about that we are like uh, 24. In this case, like uh, five are missing. Remember that if you don't have the 80% of everything, what does it mean the 80%? The whole time that you must be during the classes. Imagine in this case, you spend the four days. But in each day, you just only spend like a 30 minutes or 40 minutes. You are missing 20 minutes each day. 20, 20, 40, you have 80 minutes miss. What does it mean? That we have to do something to recover those 80 minutes with the one who lost uh, those minutes. That's why I ask you and if you uh, can try or or do what you want, or do uh, everything that is in your hands, please try to be on time, because that 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 time that, that we spend like uh, out of the schedule that we have, yeah, that might be a uh, fact to you. 
but uh, that's why I, I always tell you please try to be connect at, at seven if you are coming from work send me a message teacher i'm going to work but i'm going to be connected and the only thing that i'm not going to be with the camera on after i arrive home i'm going to turn on my camera okay you let me know and i know that you have that that issue or if you are at work you try to get connected but with your camera off because you're still at work right well, guys, I hope to see you on Monday. Uh, try to to work on the whole activity on the platform and have a great weekend. I hope to see you if God allow us on Monday. Take care, guys. Yeah. See you. See you again on Monday. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, Thank you. Good night guys. Good night. Thanks. Thanks to Thank you, you guys. Good night. Bye bye. Thanks. See you Monday. See you Monday.